Hello, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you are doing super fun, fabulous. Um, a couple of mimosas in. It's a Sunday morning. It's all good. It's August 4th. It's the new moon in Leo. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope we have a great time. And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Now, if you like tarot, you like to know what's going to happen, you like to chuckle, a little kiki, all right, come on over to Instagram. Come on for happy hour. Tuesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are over there kicking it having a great time doing readings and just hanging out with the community all right so come on over now the way these reads are going to go we're going to go into a general reading we're going to break it down to general love singles couples and then of course all signs now remember these are general readings these are not personal readings but if you would like a personal reading you could hit up my link tree and we can make that happen all right so August 4th, which is today, new moon in Leo, 12 degrees, and it's wanting you to focus on closing up some chapters in your life so that you can move forward to the next new chapter, all right? Also on this day, Venus enters into Virgo. Venus in Virgo is like love with details, okay? We need the details. We need to know what's going on. We're about to get to cuffing season. What's the damn deal, okay? Now, August 5th, Mercury retrograde. Boom, boom, boom. Reassess, readdress, and decide whether we really want to reconnect, okay? Now, Mercury retrograde is going to be four degrees Virgo, okay? Now, I just heard this on a, like, a reel, and it says four degree Virgos is the man dreaming of fairies energy. This is like anything is possible. So we believe anything is possible. We're going to believe the hype, but just remember Virgo is the, the, the devil's in the details, okay? Now, on the 14th, Mercury just goes on over to Leo, and it's like, hey, Leo, what's up? And it might get a little spicy. It might get a little interesting, and you might need to pay attention. <laughs> and on the 19th, we have a really interesting energy with the full moon in Aquarius, 27 degrees, and your psychic abilities are going to be heightened during this time. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, and everything that you are dreaming of, okay? Now, also on this day, we have Jupiter that's going to be in Gemini. He's not as most, like, comfortable in Gemini, you know, because he's like Sagittarius energy, and Gemini's the opposite of it. But it's in a square to Saturn, okay? And Saturn is in Pisces. Not very comfortable there either. So that's why it's a challenge. It's, it's challenging you, okay? This is something that's going to challenge you because there is a big change coming in for you. Big changes are on the way. Your ancestors got your back. You could be thinking about moving, thinking about developing, Developing something new but whatever it is hold on tight buttercup you've got this and you look amazing all right also on this day oh no all right, that was the Jupiter and Saturn now on the 21st huge day amazing day it's my damn dirty 44th birthday baby so if you want to send a present you want to send a happy birthday you want to just send a little wish a little heart please do I really appreciate it now 22nd is Virgo season, but hashtag still Leo season, okay? On the 28th, Mercury goes direct 21 degrees into Leo. This is the time when it stations. We are still in shadow time, so there's still a little bit of remnants, but this is also a beautiful time to start thinking about how you want to speak up for yourself and show up in the world. On the 29th, Venus enters into Libra. Then Libras are going to be looking hella fine, good baby. You don't want a piece of that little Libra. All right. So let's jump into your um, energies. So we have Burkana here. Okay. It's a beautiful little bee. This is a great little symbol for fertility. Okay. This rune is about birthing new things, creating new things. This is tied to the goddess Freya. It's tied to the big bear, okay? Your color is dark green. We are healing our heart. We're nurturing. We're caring. We're loving. We're protective, okay? And this is all about you going to the next level. Now, your animal energy is no other than a wale. It's the whale, baby. Diving in deep into our emotions, really feeling things, and... Being more conscious about like what is really going on in and around us. Now, you have this beautiful astrological, astro codes card called Vesta, okay? And it comes down to the card number 32. 32 comes to a five. Five is all about change. And this energy, it's a lot. So I'm just going to pull out the book. Evaluate yourself <laughs> and your life. Sorry. <laughs> 
This is not a situation where you need to take sides. You're gonna be going through something that you need to see all sides of the situation, right? Not necessarily having to choose. Take a chance, take a break, reclaim your temple. If a relationship is truly of value and important to your soul, the person or team you're involved with will honor your process. Your challenge, share yourself rather than sacrifice yourself. Your gift, find the temple within. Honor yourself, Pisces, because you are the treasure. <laughs> That's what we're focused on in love right now. You are going to come into a situation that you realize, damn it, I am everything that I've been looking for. I am the greatest. I'm the goat. I'm whatever you want to call yourself. You are amazing. This You're also going to find out things this month through psychic abilities, through just like being in the right place at the right time. <coughs> Keep choking. Your throat chakra <coughs> is going to be important this month because I've done a couple of reads and I've not been choking and all of a sudden I'm choking. So pay attention to that energy that's coming through for you. Okay. So let's see here. Your lucky day so far, the second, the third, the fifth, the 12th and the 23rd. Let's see. This is the part of the read where we do a yes or no question. Overall energy is the hermit. This is a time to be quiet, be still and not let everybody in. So for question number one, we have the Six of Swords. This is a yes for me. Move forward. It's going to be okay. And leave the bullshit behind. For question number two, this is a yes for me too. That's the King of Pentacles. Invest in the best. Invest in you. You're moving forward and your finances are going to be perfectly fine. All right. So let's look at our general reading. Let's see what are the energies generally coming in for love. Hmm, we have a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag in the house. We have a love spell, ew, 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 ew. And no, it's not the right time, but we got a date. Okay, we got a date night, ew. I like date nights. All right, fire sign. Let's see what's the energy with the fire sign. Partying. So this fire sign wants time with friends, having fun. They enjoy their single life. Um, or this could be like your sun, your moon, or your rising, not your sun, your moon, your rising, and you just like being single. Love spell. Um, there is something about really realizing you are more than enough. I hate this card. I just, the drawing, I, maybe it's just me. She's eating red velvet cake. Let's just put it that way. I'm just like, ooh, this is really like crucial. Self-sabotaging, egos, fears, and frustrations. So maybe doing a self-love spell this month to like open you up to love would be good. And no, someone's going to ask you to meet up. They want to, they want to build a friendship with you. And you're just like, no, we can't do this. Because it seems like you're getting ready for a date and then there's a little bit of self-sabotage going on. Almost like you just kind of don't really know what you want in relationships and how you want to move forward. And so you're just kind of like, oh, I don't know if that's really what I want. Um, there's a lot of insecurities going on right now, Pisces. So let's see what's going on for the general read. So in the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Like you're ready to get out there again. You're like, oh, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. All right, and then we have the King of Wands. So there's that Aries Leo Sag energy coming in, but we're holding on tight to the Four of Pentacles, y'all. This cat makes me laugh so damn much. Like he is so chunky. Like he is like a, he is like holding on tight, holding on tight. Okay, Some cortisol issues over here. Then we have the Strength card coming in. Okay, you're gonna hold on strong because you know your worth with the magic. Okay, with the magician, and overall we have the Eight of Wands. So. In this situation, you're really ready to invest in something new. You're looking for your passions. You're holding on to what you feel you deserve. You're not just letting anybody in. And I feel like somebody wants to talk to you. Look, let's go have a drink and have sex. Or let's go have a drink and do what we used to do in the past. And you're like, no, like that's not going to work for me. Like recently, I had somebody message me. And I was like, yeah, we can meet up. We can go hang out. You know, like I haven't heard from you in like months. And their meetup was in a hotel room. And I was like, no, that's not, it's not going down like that, my friend. Like, we are not doing that. So um, I do believe that there's someone from the past that wants to come in and kind of like pick up where they left off. And they didn't leave you off in a good spot. And the answer is going to be hell no for you. Emperor says no. Woo. 
All right. No, we can't pick up where we just left off, you piece of scumbag material. Okay. All right, Pisces. You're not going to let them do that because you are more than enough. All right. Let's get into our singles and ready to mingle. Let's see. Single Pisces. What do we have? What do we have for our single Pisces? We have manifesting. You've been doing a lot of manifestations. You're talking to the universe. You want, you want to talk about it. Possibly with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And overall, we are talking about some of these financial things that are bothering you. All right. What are we manifesting? What is this telling the universe exactly what you want? What do we have here? Cupid's arrow. You're ready to fall in love, Pisces. Have faith. It's coming. And you're going to be struck by love. Shut through the heart. I'm just playing. Okay, communicate. Communicate. What are we communicating? Let's get married. Okay, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. All right, Jagged Edge. All right, let's get a little more romantic than that. Okay, higher communication, higher commitment, partnership, and union. What is this air sign energy? We're heartbroken about an air sign. Um, giving up despair and a breakup. And we feel very backstabbed about somebody's um, desire for our financial... Um, happiness okay so let's see here what do we got let's go to our singles what's coming in so what do we have for our beautiful pisces energy pisces energy sun moon and rising what's going on here i'm all cried out over you nine of swords we're feeling a little bit by ourselves sleepless nights we're ready to cut some people off cutting you off look where i got my cup and no, you cannot have a drink. All right, we are done. We are freeing ourselves from a very karmic situation, something that's, that we felt very much tied to. Nope. This is also, when I see the Eight of Swords, I think about a soulmate, but like the kind that we were supposed to just learn from. Six of Pentacles, we're releasing that tit for tat, that you do this, I do that, and we're going after what we really want, need, and desire with the Nine of Cups. Overall energy, I'm telling you, your psychic abilities are on fire. We have the High Priestess. So, we are done crying. There's also something about a move with this double nine coming in right here. So this is like where we're at right now. We're at the Nine of Swords. We're feeling very much betrayed. We don't like this energy. It's not for us. Who is making you cry, Pisces, so I can go fight them? I don't like people who make you cry. Get some sleep. Some of y'all are also having um, insomnia episodes, okay? You're being a ass, all right? Because you're effing tired. So face to pillow now. So your, your sleep patterns have been really screwed up about the situation. Stop sleeping so much. So some people aren't getting any sleep. Some people are sleeping too much. Wake up before you miss it. And you are going through some tough stuff. Everyone has their turn. Handle it. Okay. So the way that you're doing it, either you're disengaging or you're just like completely engaged too much. And it's overwhelming you, stressing you out, and you don't know how to move forward. Oh, sorry. That was my bell. My bell to clean the energy. Give me more clues with this Nine of Swords. What is keeping Pisces from rest or sleeping too much? We have the Eight of Swords here, right? The Eight of, oh, Eight of Pentacles. You thought this was going to work out. It was a situation you thought was going to work out with, and it's just not working. You're unenthused about this. You want that passion back with the Knave of Wands, so you could have your eye on a fire sign. And you're like, I just really miss the way things used to be. I used to be so happy. It used to be so fun and fresh. And now I'm sitting here waiting. Mm -hmm. What does this Queen of Swords want you to know? The Knave of Swords. So there could be an age difference. There's also something that you're like ready to grow. You're ready to develop. You want something more. And the Eight of Cups. Someone doesn't want it. They don't want it or you don't want it. And here's the Queen of Wands. So it's almost like you're in a situation where you're like, look, I know that I communicate effectively. I know I look amazing. I know that I'm a catch. Why are you not wanting to jump on this gravy train right here? Like, what is what is, what is really holding you up? And so you're like, you know what? I'm going to untie myself from this situation. I'm not going to deal with this. Like, you want to play games with me, sir or lady? I'm good. I'm going to go build with something else. Seven of Pentacles. We don't need to talk about it anymore. 
because I'm healing. So this, this kind of gives me this energy. You could have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who wants to come back. And they're like, wait a minute, I think that you're doing better now without me, so I kind of want to talk to you about this. Let's, let's, um, let's, let's meet up for a drink. Let's go have some coffee. Let's go, let's go to your favorite restaurant. Mm. And you're just not feeling it. There's also something about somebody always paying the bill. Probably you. Let's go have a good time. Three of Wands. Mm. That's really what they want. You see that? It's what they want. They want that rutabaga. And then it's just a lot of talk. You're also going to receive a text message from somebody who with a very explicit um, sexting kind of energy, okay? This is also something that gets in the heart, in the way of you moving forward. Every time you're about to move forward, this person comes in and they just like, look what I can do. And you're like, okay, let's do it. And then it's like, not great. Focus on what you want, not the pain of the Three of Swords. So we have that Three of Swords energy, Queen of Cups, and the Sun with the Chariot. Let's go, baby. Let's not look back. Let's not do this anymore, okay? Let's not play this game. Here is this energy. We have you as the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is cutting someone off. This person knows that you love to physically like compliment them. They, they know how to push those buttons, right? So you think that you're going to build. Y'all don't talk about the past. You start thinking that you're going to heal. It's like sexual healing. This person gets what they want. They're out. And you're left picking up the pieces again. So this is where you have to decide, is this person going to be able to come back in your life, shake things up again, and then leave? And that is why you're having to make some major decisions about how you're going to move forward because you have other options. Person from the past, what's up with this devil energy? I have, I want to tell you something, revelations, okay? I want to tell you the truth. I see your side of the story. I'm telling you, they know how to play you. We're both hurting from this, and it would feel better if we just get together. I'm always longing for you. We got some unfinished business. This person is coming back, and I find it very interesting because they have the computers and stuff out. So it's going to be through text message, and if you block them on text, they're going to email you. If you block them on email, they're going to find you through another app, even if they have to Venmo you money, okay? This person is guilty. And they've been reflecting and they're like, you know what? I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really feel like I need to talk to you. I really need to work this out with you. And then when soon as they get what they want, Pisces, they're gone. I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had till it was gone. I fantasize about you. I've been manifesting you. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. I'm holding on to the memories of us and I don't know how to handle my emotions right now and I want a future with you. But this person says all the right things and then bam, they hurt you again with the three of swords, possibly when Mercury goes direct or very close afterwards. And then we have here the queen of cups with the sun. So if you just like not allow this energy back in, you will be fine. I also feel that there is a fire sign in your life that really wants to work with you, really wants to move on into that healing thing with you. But I feel like you're holding on to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type of vibe. Um, and it's causing you to kind of try to avoid emotions when you need to feel them more. Okay? So let's look at this new person coming in for you. There is someone new on the horizon. What do they look like? What does this person coming in for Pisces look like? We have the stars, we have beautiful skin, wonderful, like like a beautiful face, their eyes glimmer, and they also have like a birthmark on their face. We have strong Sagittarius energy, green eyes, brown hair. We have someone who wears glasses, possibly contacts. And we have very feminine energy coming in, okay? Could be Aquarius friendliness. This is someone who has brown hair. They have a large tongue, ah, okay? They have something about their voice is very strong too. So let's get a little bit more clues for the star energy that we have here. This person with beautiful skin, they have beautiful skin, right? 
possible <coughs> birthmark. <coughs> Sorry. They're foreign from you, okay? You also could have met them online. And they're climbing the corporate ladder or they're very tall, okay? Or they make you feel tall. The clover comes through with the star. This person could be your lucky star. <laughs> Anyways, this person makes you very nervous or they get very nervous around you. And they could possibly have those green eyes too. There's also danger, um, <laughs> danger, danger if they don't wear their glasses. Like, don't let them fool you. They need their glasses to drive. And I want to say you'll be seeing the number 333. This person could be going to school or work in a school. The feminine energy just got out of a relationship. And the dog says the shrimp. So, and sushi. Let's go have sushi. Let's go have a good time, you know. Let's go have seafood together, okay. And um, it's like old friends. You're like old friends. And it works out, okay. So that's coming through for you. Let's get their initials. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces. Pisces, we have the letter U for Urania. We have the letter L for Laura or... I don't even know an L last, uh, L is a guy. I don't know. I got nothing. R for Raul. And a V for Veronica. I don't know. Maybe those letters are in their name, okay? So that's the energy coming in for you. Let's go on into our couples. Let's see what they got going on. What's up with our beautiful couples? What's up with our beautiful couples? What do they have going on? Confession. Someone's got something to tell you. Gordian Angel coming through. And yes, the answer is yes. And somebody could be experiencing a breakup. Okay, so let's get more on this. What is this confession about for our beautiful Pisces? What is this confession about? It's very shocking. <sighs> Surprise! What does the guardian angel want us to know? The runner. They're like, stop chasing. Stop doing this. Okay? And what is the answer yes to? Yes, they're watching you. Yes, they're looking at you. They're stalking your page. And we're going to have a cup of coffee. We're going to go talk about this breakup. We're going to go talk to somebody about the breakup. Okay? Coffee cup. Overall, healthy choices are very important. So, let's get into what your person is thinking. And let's see how they're feeling about you. Oh, my card's fall. What is Pisces person thinking right now? How are they acting? What is their behavior? Let's start over. Let's start fresh. The Ace of Pentacles. They are thinking about the Four of Cups. Those are those rose-colored glasses. Okay, I want you to look at these glasses. Somebody, somebody is acting like, oh no, everything's great, but it's not great because they're looking at your social media, they're looking in your phone. Wow, this card's not even supposed to be in here, and you got the coffin card is how they feel about you. A new beginning, they feel like you're, like, whatever's going on, you're doing just fine, and they feel like you're walking away from them. Pisces, they think that um, you're done. They're trying to act like everything's good for them. They're happy. They don't give a damn. What comes between y'all is a new beginning with the page. And the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Very strong things about finances coming in. And here is the offer of love coming in. So let's clarify this situation and let's see what we got going on. So your person is trying to act like they're either trying to invest back in this relationship or start something new with the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Pentacles. They're bored. Somebody is bored. They feel un unentertained and they're ready for a new adventure. Four of Cups wants you to know the wheel. So I kind of feel like they've taken, they saw something and they're like, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to go. I'm going to change this situation. And I have three fours in your read. Um, so someone is doing the most. I do believe your partner is. And you're pretty much done too because you're like the eight of cups. You're like, I got to go. I'm not even sure if I want this anymore with the seven of cups. I don't want to feel like an option. I'm going to trust my intuition with the high priestess. And I'm going to go look for love with the two of cups. There is a lot of love there for each other. And I don't know if the number 722 means anything to anybody. Okay, Three of Cups. Let's see what this is about. 
we have the three of cups with the three of cups so there's that energy of maybe like third party energy doesn't necessarily have to mean that they're cheating but something's going on here and we're not talking about it with the nine of swords somebody's going out too much someone is enjoying themselves too much what comes between you guys is this page of pentacles with the seven of pentacles it was like you were investing you're like i put so much into this relationship and it doesn't even matter um there's also a big lie with this chariot coming out that's coming back from the past so let's look at this um information that could possibly be coming out what is this double seven about someone is bringing information to you it could be brought to you by someone in the family or child the bear, there's that overbearing energy. The clouds of confusion from the gentleman. Okay, and we thought we were stable. We thought we were okay. We thought everything was fine. And then there's all of a sudden some kind of situation. It could be a financial situation, but it's overbearing and it's not clear. It's from a very confused individual. Be aware of drinking. Okay, then we have the Knave of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands to the Strength card. So I do feel like there is a situation possibly with a child, okay, possibly with a new situation, and you guys are going to work it out, but it is very difficult for you to move past this, but there is a lot of healing going on with the star and the six of swords. So we're going to take this trip, we're going to take the offer that's coming to us. Um, there are some that are dealing with a partner who has like... Um, a lot of confusion about where they want to be, whether that's you or them, <clears throat> or they feel that you've checked out. However, you ending as the Queen of Pentacles is almost like whatever it is that you want to invest in, whether it's the relationship or someone else or yourself, that's exactly what you're going to do. And there's nobody that can tell you anything. And I do believe that this person really feels that you've moved on because the way that you've been acting, Pisces, okay? So let's get an overall message for this month from the Lenormand. What do they need to know? We have the child. There's something new coming in. Brings a lot of confusion with the clouds. Okay, a confused man. That's the second time that comes out. Has key information and communication. And it turns out to be beautiful, okay? But what is this gentleman about? Show me more. We've got the letter, there's that communication information that puts the foundation with the anchor. Somebody's going to be worried about their health or their family. There's something about health and family and finances. And so these things really need to be talked about this month, but there's a lot of confusion surrounding that, okay? All right, let's look at your oracle. What do we have for oracle? And then we'll get into the signs. My eyes are getting tired. All right, we have money, a financial issue, the doors to value. Archangel Michael is protecting us financially. We do have a lot of healing going on. And I do feel like you're the one, Pisces, that's making more money. I do feel like you're the one in control of the money. Trust your intuition this month. And whatever it is you're thinking about, give me more. Think about it and take a break. Don't do too much. Don't you got to do everything in balance, okay? Pay attention to the 22nd also as you're moving forward with those decisions, okay? So what I have here is the 2nd, the 3rd, the 5th, the 12th, 22nd and 23rd. Those dates are going to be highly important for you as you're moving forward. All right? And then we're going to be getting into a portion of this where we are talking about Aries to Pisces. All right. So let's jump into it and let's see what we got going on. I'm cutting the deck and I have the Ten of Cups, which is fulfillment, happiness, and joy. But there is some inequality in the giving and some inequality in moving forward. Okay. Like, we don't feel like it's balanced. We don't feel like somebody's honoring us. All right? Pisces, what's going on? What's going on, Pisces? Do we need to live? We need to do a reading? Okay, let's see here. Here we are, Pisces. You are the world. You are the children. You are at a soulmate level, my friend. Mm-hmm. Looking fucking fabulous, okay? 
And Aries is slowly coming to the understanding that you are everything they wanted, they wished for, and hoped for. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. 19th. Here you are ready to offer your love, and Taurus is being a stubborn doo-doo head. And the solution is take your time. Don't give them too much because you're being stubborn, okay? Lucky day is the 14th. You are done fighting with the Nine of Wands. Gemini is ready to heal. And the solution is y'all both got to work at this, okay? The three, the three, the third is important. Here you are making major changes with the death card. And Cancer is making it hard. Because they're not communicating effectively. You made all these changes and Cancer is not playing fair. The ninth could be important. You are at a crossroads. You're trying to make major decisions. And Leo is being stubborn. They're standing on business. And we're in prayer. Somebody really wants us to move forward. Let's see what this prayer is about. Your spirit guides are suggesting something about peace. Things are coming to the light and need to be healed. It's the dragonfly. We need to move forward. Lucky day is the 19th. The Queen of Cups is coming through. That is you, ready to offer your love. You're feeling good. You're feeling great. And the Virgo is not feeling themselves. They feel like you're taking advantage of them. And we got to work at the situation. It's going to take a lot of work. The 10th, y'all could even work together. Here you are, not wanting to face the challenges, not wanting to see the things. You feel a little bit uh, defeated. And so does Libra. Libra feels like they should have paid attention to the red flags with you because you're being difficult and they feel like you have just really sabotaged this relationship and there's a lot of defeats. The 19th could be important. You are tired of hurting, tired of crying, and Sagittarius is just wanting to have a good time. Solution, it's time to be single. I was going to say single dingle, but I mean solo dojo, okay? Because I don't even know what single dingle is, okay? The 10th could be important. Anyways, you are all in love, okay? All in love, and let's see here. Seven of Cups is there. That was Sagittarius. Capricorn says, let's get married, okay? Let's go half on a baby. Let's do the damn thing. The solution is yes, let's go for it. I wouldn't even be surprised if you guys end up in Vegas and getting married, okay? The 20th could be important. On oh, my birthday, do it on the 21st. Anyways, you're psychic. You're feeling yourself, trusting your intuition. And Aquarius is praying about this situation. And we need to stop miscommunicating. We need to start really talking to each other with love. Um, I do think that you both love each other. And yeah, we're gonna get married. Engagement ring. What? What? What's going on? You okay, Pisces? You don't even want. You're not being safe, Pisces. Okay, you don't even want. And the other Pisces is like, we're family. Like, stop. Okay, we're family. And I want to take control. Someone is taking control of the situation, and there's a lot of healing between the two Pisces. All right, Pisces and Pisces, put it together. Your lucky day is the second. All right, love bugs, that's what I have for you this month. I hope you guys had fun. I sure did. I'm going to head over and do a live real quick. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful month. Stay tuned. We're going to do some different reads this month. We might look at finances. And we might even go look at um, Mercury Retrograde. Why not? All right, enjoy your day. And thank you so much. Bye.